morning everybody welcome to Sunday's vlog I'm currently up bright and early to go car shopping but not for me for my boyfriend you see when my boyfriend has something on his mind he has to make it happen instantly it can't actually that's kind of like me I can't really blame him because when I when I do something I want to do it now too so he's decided that he wants to get a car here and so we began going to dealerships this morning, bright and early, right at 10 a.m. <laughs> I haven't even eaten breakfast yet, but, and I look like this. Um, I didn't really have much time to get ready. I just basically rolled out of bed, put this on, and came here. So yeah, we're currently looking at cars, and I enjoy this type of thing, actually. My family owns car dealerships. My grandfather owned them, and now my father owns them. Um, so I've, this has kind of been a part of my life and in my family for a while, so I know a thing or two about cars and buying cars and that sort of thing. I used to go with my dad to the auctions, etc. So yeah, I quite enjoy it. Although I've never been through this process of in Japan buying a car. So yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, so he's in the dealership now. I just want to pop outside to talk to you guys. And it's starting to rain quite heavily actually. So it's going to be a rainy Sunday today. Yeah, so that's all that's going on right now. I'm not sure if he wants to check out other places, but once we're done here, I hope we can go get some food because I am hungry. And then I'll probably go back home after, I think. I don't really know what's going to be up today. So it's lunchtime now, and I wanted to come to one of my favorite places, which you guys have seen many times, Sora, Sora no Iro for um, vegan gluten-free ramen. And... It's closed. Something that happens to me quite often. So just so you guys know, in case you're in Tokyo, it's closed for three days. Now what? I have to think of something else to eat. My boyfriend wants this cocoa curry. This place is fun because you can, they have all these manga books on the wall. Tons to choose from. Actually, all locations have this. So you can just sit and read manga while you eat because a lot of people come here alone and they sit like here on the, they sit here on the bar by themselves so you can just sit and read manga. They have so many different kinds of curries and Japanese curry is slightly sweet. It's a bit different than the traditional Indian curry and you have different things to choose from when you order a curry. You can choose the size of your rice and the spiciness level and different toppings. Um, so they have a lot of different ones and veggie wise they, they do have some veg vegetarian options. So this is Coco Curry's autumn autumn special. It's actually because usually these are pork, but this is a minced beef cutlet patty. Good, good luck handmade minced beef cutlet curry. And you get it with the whole grain mustard tartar sauce. Just thought I'd show you guys if you're in Japan and want to try these limited items. My boyfriend ordered this salad, and when you get a salad here, it comes with different dressings, so you can choose from different ones, or you can have all three, or you can have a bit of each. That's kind of interesting. Here's the mustard sauce and the tonkatsu. Definitely need some pickles. Oh, my boyfriend went level 4 spiciness and he's been so hot. Um, have you guys been here before? What's your highest level of spiciness you can tolerate? Let me know. I think I went to level 3. 5 is the highest. again it is currently 7 30 p.m. I actually came home and fell asleep I took a nap um, I've been kind of having a sort of a cold I'm still getting over a cold my nose is like runny and I always feel tired so yeah that nap was really good and then I edited and uploaded the vlog and I got ready and now I'm gonna have a little date night a Sunday night date with my boyfriend and we're gonna go to the batting cages in Shinjuku which I've never been to before but and I'm not very good at baseball, although I used to play t-ball as a kid and my grandma and I used to always watch baseball and go to baseball games, so I am interested in it. But I haven't played since t-ball, so I'm not sure I'll be very good. But either way, I think it's going to be fun, so we're going to go play that and then grab some dinner after. And it just started pouring rain outside, so 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's indoor indoors though, and then. Hmm. So we're currently at the game center where you can play baseball, and they have many arcade games here, but they're really old ones and they're really cheap. Yeah. So, so it's quite a fun place to come for a We're done baseball as I'm sure you saw I suck at baseball I have a horrible swing but that was fun anyways fun to try so we're gonna head to dinner now we're gonna have some Korean food I don't know if you guys can hear this but listen to this <laughs> It's the best when you let the rice stay at the bottom and it becomes crunchy. Full of veggies. Sometimes it has some meat in it or egg, but I just opt for it without it. I'm going to let it get a bit crunchier. Look at that. Ooh, that crunchy goodness. I love it. There you go. Hey guys, I'm back home on the couch with my baby. My sleepy baby. I'm just looking to find something on the Apple TV, a movie or a sh TV show or something. I'm so sleepy. We're both so sleepy. Um, it's getting dark here so early. Like the sun goes down at 5.30 and it's dark by like 6.37 and it just makes me so much more hungry and sleepy um, really early in the day. It's only like 10.30 now but I could fall asleep right now. Hmm, but I think I want to watch something. Have you guys watched any good movies or TV shows lately? Let me know in the comments. Or even documentary, I really like watching documentaries too. Yeah, I want to have a really chill next couple of days because later this week it gets quite hectic and then my meetup is on Saturday. There's still a lot to do for that. Mm, can't really find anything, maybe I'll do a bath bomb take a bath and go to bed instead. Organic 
um, which have Brazil nuts, which I used to eat one a day before, but I haven't been recently, but it just reminds me how good these are for you. 